we call Zach our high octane boy because <laughs> he's always on the go, loves to be outside running around. Right up to his diagnosis was acting very normal. We had no clue there was anything wrong. John went to lift him up and kind of grabbed him underneath his arms and he was like, ow. And John said, what's the matter? And he goes, well, that bump under my arm. And John's like, what bump? So he checked it out and there was a pretty good size bump in his armpit. I was like, wow, I better get him to the doctor right away. And then a couple days later, the pediatrician actually followed through and wanted us to see an oncologist. And I was like, oncologist? That's a cancer doctor. And he's like, I just feel like you ought to, you know, get him checked out. So then we took him to Children's Hospital of Philadelphia at the King of Prussia. And about the time that we received the diagnosis that it was anaplastic large cell lymphoma, he was starting to get fevers. Well, they put him on a standard chemo regimen and he was to be on chemo for one year. So, I mean, they started him on that, you know, just within a day or two of his diagnosis. And that was hard for me. You know, here's my little boy in a hospital bed and what are my options? I didn't have any other options. He had been on treatment for about six months and, and seemed to be responding positively. But then he started to have similar symptoms again. And in the course of, I don't know, a week or so, we found ourselves you know, back at the hospital and they're doing tests and, and here, while he was on treatment, he had relapsed. It's another whirlwind. That was just heavy, heavy news. We talked about a couple options. One was more aggressive cytotoxic treatment, which we didn't really want to do. We couldn't imagine that. You know, After everything he had been through the six months, I couldn't imagine like a harder chemo, you know. And, and when, when we were in the meeting and they were talking about the study, you know, you're sitting there and so it, it's experimental, you know, so it's all right, well, and, and Pam was, her, her concern was, you know, I don't want him doing an experiment. I don't want my kid to be a guinea pig. Son, but, but when they were yeah. presenting that information to us about the study and the, the, the possibility that this could really address his problem. So when we came out of that meeting. I, I was still, <laughs> she, she I was, was still like <laughs> scared that we're trying this drug that we know nothing about and we don't know how he's gonna respond to it. Yeah. So I was very fearful. And she's like, well, what do you think? I said, it sounds like a no brainer to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, yeah. so. It was just the fear of the unknown. Cause you know, clinical trial sounds like, like we already talked about, it sounds like I, you know, you're an experiment. But at the same time, um, they had a good idea ahead of time that it was a good risk and he could, and he could respond well. When he started the drug, really the, the third day, mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I said to Pam, you know, I, I, think, I, I think he's getting, he's turning around. And probably by, by the end of the third day, he was... We got our boy back. Yeah. <laughs> He's, he's back to high octane. Yeah, yeah he's, he's a go-getter, mm -hmm. you know. He wanted to get out of he, that bed. <laughs> he, yeah, he wanted to go, go down to the playroom. He wanted to do something, and, and very, very quickly, it just turned around mm -hmm. for him. And, it was uh, an immediate. Yeah, um, you know, that obviously is a, has a lot of potential to be a blessing to many people. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know. And the first thing that comes to my mind is, without this cancer research, Zach would not be here. Yeah. And it's no doubt in my mind, mm -hmm. you know, seeing where he was, and, and he was not gonna get any better. So we're very thankful for the research that is done. And mm -hmm. I mean, it's hard to thank somebody, you know, <laughs> for your child's life, but Zach wouldn't be here without that.